I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak with Weather 2020. We will finish this report with a 90-second video of the entire hurricane season. I think you'll really enjoy it. You'll see all 15 named storms in their tracks in motion from June 1st to our current date. So very interesting. So I hope you're doing great. The new LRC is setting up right before our eyes. You can become premium members at weather2020.substack.com, weather2020.substack.com, and uh, go become premium members, and we will take you through this. I will take you on a tour through this developing LRC that we are going to experience for the next year ahead. So it's pretty fascinating. But between now and then, let me take you through what's happening right now. Very interesting. Let's start from the beginning. Our 14th and 15th named storms of the season are developing today on October the 19th. We bring you the order and chaos in this report. So let's go through and take a look. Here is Nadine. Tropical Storm Nadine is going to move inland and fall apart within the next 12 hours. So it formed and fell apart within 24 hours. And here's Oscar that might last a little bit longer. Oscar just developed this morning. It just got organized. It's going to head towards Cuba and then likely turn and head out over the Atlantic. We'll see how long it lasts and if it could become a hurricane, but it is not going to make a threat to the United States. So very interesting. Here's Nadine and Oscar again, the two systems that are being tracked by the Hurricane Center. Nothing else developing at this moment over the rest of the Atlantic Basin. In our hotspot forecast, it should March the 3rd in our extensive 20-page outlook for the season. We predicted that from near New Orleans to Tampa was going to be the hotspot, and that's where two to four landfall threats would happen, and it happened. One to three landfall threats in these red areas, and then the yellow area is zero to two um, landfall threats expected there. So again, there are the hot spots predicted, and here are all the storms. I didn't add Nadine and, and Oscar to this one yet. Nadine here and Oscar right in here, but here's all the systems and their peak intensities. We had a, a Category 5 hurricane barrel and a Category 5 hurricane Milton, major, major hurricanes, and then the fours were Kirk and Helene. And Debbie intensified right on the coast as a Category 1 hurricane. These were the landfalls occurred. Five hurricanes made landfall this season with their intensities at landfall ranging from one to four. And then this was a tropical storm, but it's the same one as this one here. Hurricane Debbie came in, moved offshore, and then came back in. So again, here are all the landfalls, as you can see right there, and two of them in our hotspot, almost the third one. So each one of our regions was affected as predicted. So again, here's all the storms at their peak intensity, and you can see the tracks from each of these, and this is what I'm going to put into motion for you. So it looks like a confused mess, right? But watch them as we go through the calendar, and we'll have them all for you. Oscar is the 15th named storm of the season. The 15th named storm of the season. The reds show the four major hurricanes. The yellows are the hurricanes. Oscar and Nadine are tropical storms. Weather 2020 predicted 14 to 19 named storms. We stressed we'd be under 20 for the season, whereas everyone else had 20 or more, a lot more in some cases. 15 is now the number on October 19th. Nine named hurricanes and seven to 10 is our forecast. Four major hurricanes, four to five are our forecast. And then the all important 150 accumulated cyclone energy ACE score. We're at 141 right now. So we're heading right into almost a perfect prediction for the season from Weather 2020. All right, let me take this off and go through the video for you because I think you're going to get a kick out of it. Let me make it a full screen. So we'll just make it links full and watch this. Here we go into motion for the entire season. All right, so watch this. Here we go. And I'll start it now. So see the calendar up here on the top? There's the June 10th, June 11th, June 12th. We're waiting for Alberto, and finally on June 16th, 17th, there's Alberto, and then Beryl in the southern Atlantic there, north of South America, became a Category 5 and it weakened, then it became a Category 1 again at landfall. Then we had Chris, 
And then we're waiting on Debbie. We waited all the way to August 4th. Remember how quiet it was for a long time. And then as soon as we got to August 4th, here's Debbie developing and intensifies on August 4th into a hurricane, went back offshore and back in. Then there's Ernesto. And the next one, remember, Francine, right here, right around peak hurricane season. So we had another two-week quiet stretch. And as predicted, we thought September 9th there would be one in the Gulf. And there is Francine, as predicted, comes right in west of New Orleans. Then you had Gordon and Isaac and Joyce. And we're waiting for Helene. There's Helene, major category five. That was the biggest disaster of the season. It weakened considerably. And there's major hurricane Kirk. And then there's Milton, Leslie, and then finally Nadine. And here's Oscar. So very interesting. Wasn't that fascinating? I thought that was pretty cool. So there you go. I hope everyone's doing fantastic. Take a look at that again. That's the whole season. We'll have a final version of it here in a three or four weeks when the season winds down. There may be one or two or three more name storms. Remember, Weather 2020 predicted 14 to 19. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak. Join our premium subscription at weather2020.substack.com. Have a great day.